Hello, my name is Chris Wilden. I'm a short story writer, uh, and most of the short stories I write are humorous. Um, I've been asked to talk today a little bit about writing short stories, particularly humorous ones or ones that are funny. Um, I run a short story competition called To Hull and Back, which is for humorous short stories, so I get to read a lot of them. Uh, the most common mistake I encounter with writers trying to be funny for the sake of being funny. Uh, this can lead to characters acting out character, melodrama, and the overuse of exclamation marks. Like any genre, the most important thing is the story itself. So when you're writing a story, you need strong characters, a strong plot, and an engaging idea that's interesting for the reader. The humour, or any other style that you write with, should complement that main story. Okay? So, uh, you need to look on it a little bit like a meal. So, the story is the steak, is the main focus of the meal. The humour is the, the gravy, or the sauce that complements the meal. Most people wouldn't eat gravy on their own, unless they're weird. So, that's the most important thing, keep the story strong, the humour complements it, it's the way of telling it. Um, what I'm going to do now is just read you an excerpt from a story called Death of the Superhero, which is a humour story I wrote, uh, as an example. I'll, I'll read a little section of it and then, and then talk about it for you. Name? Batman! Death looked up from where he was seated on the throne of bones behind the desk of deliverance in front of Death's door. Although dressed like Batman, the person standing before him didn't exhibit the level of physical fitness you might expect to see from a successful crime-fighting vigilante. For one thing, there was an unacceptable disparity between their height and girth. Said disparity would probably make leaping from buildings, running quickly, or fitting into the Batmobile somewhat problematic. The person also seemed to possess a general lack of understanding regarding Batman's gender. Nice suit said Death. Thanks! Batman obviously had no concept of sarcasm either. Death looked back at his recent expiries manifest and tapped the page with a bony finger. You're listed here as Doris Claymore, he said. Never heard of her, said Batman. Now, that's put across in a humorous way, but the story is the key to it. So you've got someone who is probably dead because they're facing death and they're dressed as Batman or pretending to be Batman. So this uh, leads the reader to want to find out what's going on. Why is this person standing in front of death's door and why are they pretending to be Batman? So that's the stake. That's the important bit. The way it's delivered, uh, because Doris has got a silly voice, that's, that's her name, and Death has got a bit of a silly voice, and they're trying to work each other out. That's where the humour comes in. So it's the way it's uh, the way it's written. Okay, it's the style. So hopefully that will give you an example of uh, a, a humorous piece of writing, where the, the story is the key, the most important thing. Two strong characters, nice situation. So. Why are we really doing this? We're doing this because you are going to write uh, a humorous short story, I believe. Is that right, Mr. Davis? Yes, it is. Good. I'm sure he's nodding. Um, so, what we're doing is a little competition. And the competition uh, winners will probably be published in a little book. And then we may well strap that book to my motorcycle and film it being ridden to Western Super which is a fine prize for for a humorous short story competition. So these are the details of the competition. You need to write a story up to a thousand words long with a plot that involves a male character, a female character, the theme of greed, and at least one Western Superman land plot. So those are the rules. Um, I believe I'm going to judge it. So I'll, I'll read all the stories and decide on a winner and lots of runners up because I'm sure there will be lots of brilliant stories for me to read. And, yeah, then I may even come into your school and bring my motorcycle with me. So look forward to that. Um, good luck with your, with your writing and back over to Paulie. Sorry, I mean Mr. Davis. <laughs>